Okay, guys, so 5.7 honors and 4.7 for math seven. Uh, we're gonna do subtract expressions. So like yesterday, except we're gonna subtract them, okay? The essential question is, how can properties of operations be used to subtract expressions? Now, a reminder here, when you're going through example two and you're looking at the work I did here, they're talking about the area, okay? So the area equals length times width, so don't forget that, all right? So I have this set up already. We've got 0 and 95 hundredths, x minus 0 and 4 hundredths, minus 0 and 99 x hundredths x minus 0 and 13 hundredths. Now, here's the thing. When you have a subtraction sign in between, this is the same as saying minus 1, okay? That there's a negative 1 that you're going to go through and you're going to distribute amongst these two terms within these parentheses. So in other words, I will take and multiply the negative one by this term and by this term. Remember, terms are always separated by an addition, subtraction, or equal sign. So in other words, I'm going to rewrite this and it's going to be kind of wide out here so you can see it, okay? So in other words, this first one doesn't change, okay? These terms within this parentheses do not change. Now, the reason for that is there's nothing out inside of these parentheses to multiply it by. However, here, I'm going to put a plus sign, and this becomes a negative 1 multiplied by 0 and 99 hundredths x, okay, plus a negative 1 multiplied by a negative zero and 1300, okay? So virtually what we're doing is we're changing the signs here. So I'm gonna take these now out of the parentheses so that we can look at the different terms. So in other words, this is just gonna be zero and 95 hundredths X. Then we have minus zero and four hundredths. Now when I multiply this, the negative multiplied by the positive, I get a negative, that's why this negative comes in here. And this is zero and 99 hundredths x. And then I'm gonna multiply a negative multiplied by a negative, which is a positive, which you guys should be remembering, okay? And then zero and 13 hundredths, okay? So when I do this, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna separate these terms. So in other words, I've got a positive term here a negative term here, a negative term here, and a positive term here. Now what I have to do is combine like terms. Now don't forget, this is just like le yesterday's lesson. When you combine these like terms, what you're doing is looking for terms that have the exact same variable or no variable at all. So this can be combined with this term, okay? And this term can be combined with this term. All right, okay, so let me make sure I've got this written right. Yep, it's correct. Okay. So, now notice, this is a positive, this is a negative. The negative one is larger. So when I combine these two, it's going to be a negative 0 and 0, 4 hundredths x. Then when I combine these two, the positive is larger. So this is going to be plus 0 and 9 hundredths, okay? And that ends up being my answer. All right, guys? So that's what we're looking at for that example. So when you go through this, look at it closely, see the different steps in here, okay? All right, let's get over to example three. Now, this one, I'm going to show you this a little bit differently than I did the one before. Okay, so here's what I want you to keep in mind. When I went through and talked to you about a minus sign, okay, you can see that, right? That minus sign can be a negative, a minus, or an opposite. So it can be all three meanings. You have to evaluate the expression to be able to determine which one it is. Okay, now here's what's cool. Instead of going through and distributing like we did in the last example, we distribute the negative one, we can look at this as an opposite. In other words, what I would say is, 
This is going to make everything within these parentheses opposite. So this would be the opposite of a positive 7 and 5 tenths m. This would be the opposite of a negative 9 and the opposite of a positive 4k. So I'm going to do this more in less steps and make it probably a little bit easier to understand. In other words, 17 plus 4 and 5 tenths m plus 8k. Then we go a negative 7 and 5 tenths m, because remember, it's the opposite of a positive, which is a negative. The opposite of a negative is a positive 9. And then the opposite of a positive is a negative 4k. Now, at this point, it's the same as yesterday's lesson. We're going to separate the terms, and then we're going to combine the like ones. So I've got a positive 17, a positive 4 and 5 tenths m, a positive 8k, a negative 7 and 5 tenths m, a positive 9, and a negative 4k. So now we're looking for the exact same variables or numbers with no variables at all that we can combine. So in other words, I've got this that has an m and this that has an m. So we're going to combine these two, okay? I have this one that has a k and this one that has a k. So we're going to combine those two. And then these last two terms don't have any variable at all, so we can combine them. So the k's here, 8k minus 4k's is simply 4k. I picked that one out first because we need to put our variables in alphabetical order, okay? Now I've got a positive 4 and 5 tenths m minus 7 and 5 tenths m. That's going to be a negative term because this is larger than this. And then we subtract them and we get 3 m and our final one is 17 plus 9 which is a positive 26. okay so this ends up being our answer and everything is in order and that's it okay so let's look at the last one here Okay. So this is an Excel. Okay. And it's kind of interesting, and I picked this one because there's one little mistake you can make in this and then get it wrong. So this is Excel number seven. Okay. And so here's what we're looking at. When you go through to set this up, they were talking about um, a $75.50 plus 12 cents. Okay. And I think it was 12 cents per mile. And then this was 45 and 50 cents, $45, 50 and 11 cents per mile. The thing is, if you don't put these in decimals, because they're cents, they need to be put in decimals, then you're going to get this incorrect. Okay. Because I actually did it incorrect. I put 12 X instead of 12 cents X. And yeah, I got it totally wrong. So here's what we're looking at. Again, we're going to look at the opposite, the opposite. This turns everything in these parentheses opposite. So the opposite of a positive $45.50 and the opposite of 11 cents, positive 11 cents X. So these just stay the same. So I'm going to rewrite these. It's a $75.50 plus 12 cents X. See how it just stayed the same. But then this turns to a negative because it's the opposite. $45.50, and then this becomes the opposite too. Negative, oops, I almost did it again, 11 cents X, okay? Now at this point, it's just like I said before, we're gonna separate the terms. Terms are always separated by positive, negative, or equal signs, okay? So this is one term, positive term, negative term, negative term. These two can be combined, and these two can be combined. Now, we're going to do this in a little bit different order because they're asking for it in that order so that we can go through and solve the problem correctly. So $75.50 minus $45.50 is $30. And then this is going to end up being a positive because this is larger than this, and so this is plus... And remember, this is money, so plus 
one cent per mile. In other words, that is how much more expensive the one is than the other. Okay, guys. So I will do this problem again in class if you want me to, but this is pretty much what you're looking at. All right. So good luck on this lesson. Ask me questions in class if you don't understand. We'll take care of it.